In a previous video, I showed you how to set up a basic authentication for our REST API. And so today in this video, I'm going to show you how to post the authentication protocol to the REST API that we created. So here's our code that we wrote on the last video. So it says we have the correct authorization of the username of Bill and a password of 1234 that we're going to enter in the private area. And if we're not, then we're going to put out a 401 unauthorized header. Just a quick review. So when we send this, uh, we've got the authorization set to Bill and 1234. If you put in the wrong password and send it, then we're going to get a 401 unauthorized. So that's very straightforward. So let's move on to how we're going to send this using WordPress. The first thing I want to show you is I'm going to look at this code button right here. And this is going to tell us that using HTTP, our host is localhost, the authorization is basic, and then there's a space, and then there's this string right here. This is a base64 encoded string uh, that it basically says the username is Bill and the password is 1234, and it's written in a specific way. So let's copy this encoded string and go over to a website and decode it. So let's paste our string here and then decode it. And we're going to see we're going to have bill colon 1234. So this is the format that we have to do when we encode it. So this site, we're going to encode it. So bill colon 1234 in encode. And there is the same string that we had before. So we're going to encode this in PHP and set the authentication protocol next. Doing a remote post in WordPress is actually pretty easy. We need a response, and that response is equal to a WP remote post. And then we're going to send a URL and an array of arguments. So let's define this array. We're going to send out a headers, and that's going to be an array. The authorization is what we need, and then we're going to set that just like I showed you before. Basic, because we're going to use basic authentication, space concatenate base64 in code. And then here is how we're going to do this. We're going to encode a username and concatenate on the colon and concatenate on the password. All right, so we need to set the URL the username and the password. The URL is going to be equal to HTTP localhost API basic PHP. All right, now they set the username and the password. All right, let's go over and refresh the page and take a look. Now, I've got a query monitor installed, and I can take a look at the HTTP calls. And we can see that the localhost API basic returned a 200 status code, which means it's correct. We've logged in. So let's put in the wrong password and see what happens. And now we get our 401 unauthorized. And that's the exact same behavior that you saw in Postman. So that's great, but how can we make this work in a class system? So let's create a real quick class and just call it Remote Post. And then initialize this class. And we're just going to start from the beginning. Now, within this class, let's create a construct.
and a construct says that it's going to execute this code when we run or instantiate the class. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set some headers. So we're going to call a method called set headers. And you do that by simply saying this set headers. And the next thing we're going to we're going to post the headers. And then we're going to render with this the response. So we need to create these three methods in order to make this work. So the first thing we do is create the headers. Now the headers, you can see that they're an array right here of authorization, basic, base64, username, password. So we're going to do the exact same thing in the class. Now the first thing we need is the username and the password and the URL. So let's define those as, as constants. Just a, we'll call them private constants. Have a username and a password. And a URL. Let's just copy and paste that so I don't, I probably could have done that before. All right, so now we have the username, password, and URL, and then we're going to call them within our class method. So we're going to set headers, so this headers, and you, there's a couple ways you could do that, but I'm going to just do it this way. And that's equal to almost the exact same thing that we had above here. It's going to be an array. So let's go ahead and set a user agent. And you can call this something like this WordPress test post. And we're going to set the authorization. So it's going to be basic, space, base64 and code. Now, within the class system, we're going to call this username concatenate on the same thing we did before. And you can see that it's coming, this password. Now, let's go up here and comment out this code and see if we have any errors. Six. Oh. So we need to comment out these two because we haven't posted the headers yet. Okay. So let's move on and we're going to post the headers. So to do the post, we're going to set this response equal to the exact same thing we did above, WP Remote Post. In fact, we're in a class, so we're going to call this URL an array of arguments. I'm going to set our headers. And we're going to call the headers that we just set. This headers. We need a semicolon here. And let's set our last function. I'm going to output the results into an admin notice so that I can read them easier. So we're going to do add action, admin notices. And then we're going to call back a method within this class. So you use this method. You can see array, this, and then you have the method. We're just going to call the method notice. 
So we need to create that method real quick. So let's, before I output the notice as far as the response, let's just see if we're connected. So we're gonna go over, we're gonna refresh the page and then I'm gonna look at my HTTP calls. And there we have it right there. It's still 200, which is okay and authorized. So let's put in a wrong password. You can just check it real quick to see that we are within the class. And now we have our unauthorized. But let's, I wanna look at what the response is. So we've got this notice that we're gonna output in the header and we're gonna call this method notice and let's output the response. I think it's easier to type in HTML like this instead of coming in and out of PHP. So let's um, create a div. And normally, so we, we have to escape this because I need to put another quote here. So I have to put a backslash in here. So the class name is notice. Uh, notice success is how I'm going to do this one. And then is dismissible. And we're going to put a backslash here on this quote. And then we're going to add more HTML. And then I'm going to use the dot equal. And here we need to echo out some pre-tags because we are going to, we're gonna have an array and, and in order to be able to read it, it's easier if you echo out pre-tags. So we're gonna echo this HTML. And then I wanna print the response. You say this response that we set above. And then I have more HTML. So we want to close the pre-tags. And then close the div. So here we have an HTML with no dot. And then we're going to add more HTML. Just like we did before. Dot equal. And then we're going to close the div. And then echo out the HTML. All right, let's see if we have any errors. It'll be apparent. Well, oh, I think I see a typo. I do. So everything works. Let's close this so you can see it. And here is this very, very big admin notice. And here it's an array. And the body response is right here. You are in the private area. And if you recall, that's the message we outputted in the body after we have passed the authentication protocol. So I hope you found this helpful. And if you have any questions, please leave me some comments below.